असलम फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड एंजॉइंग लर्निंग विद लैंग्वेज एंड लिंग्विस्टिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट मोरफोलॉजी दिस वन इज़ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर सो लेट्स मूव टू आर फर्स्ट स्लाइड एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू मोरफोलॉजी मोरफोलॉजी इज अ टर्म विच हैज़ इटमोलॉजी फ्राम ग्रीक एंड मोफ मीन्स शेप फॉर्म सो मोफोलॉजी इज़ द स्टडी ऑफ फॉर्म्स और फॉर्म और यू कैन से अ स्टडी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर और फॉर्म्स ऑफ समथिंग इज कॉल्ड मोफोलॉजी अकॉर्डिंग टू द वेबस्टर डिक्शनरी सो मोफोलॉजी हैज़ लिटरल मीनिंग दैट इज द स्टडी ऑफ फॉर्म्स इट्स ओरिजन इज इन बायोलॉजी एंड इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी दिस टर्म वॉज यूज फ्राम द लिंग्विस्टिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू as the study of all those basic elements used in a language german poet novelist playwright and philosopher john wolfgang von goethe who coined it early in the 19th century from the biological context so in linguistics morphology refers to the mental system involved in word formation just this keep in your mind that the mental system involved in word formation are to the branch of linguistics that deals with words their internal structure and how they are formed so this one is the comprehensive definition of morphology and it has few ingredients first one is the mental system involved in word formation their internal structure and it is the branch of linguistics that deals with words words internal structure and the structure of words are the important element according to the definition of morphology after defining the definition of morpheme that is related to words their internal structure and the formation of words we are moving to some important concepts related to morphology and the first important concept is morpheme a major way in which morphologists investigate words their internal structure and how they are formed is through the identification and study of morphemes or you can define morpheme as the smallest linguistic piece with a grammatical function in other words elements in the form of linguistics message and it means words they are technically known as morphemes and morpheme is a minimal unit of meaning or grammatical function units of grammatical function include forms used to indicate past tense of verbs or plural forms of noun so morpheme is the smallest linguistic piece with a grammatical function and it shows past tense of verbs are the plural forms of noun so let's have a look on this example to learn it in a detail for example if you take the word talk we can use few morpheme according to our need first one is talks talker talked and talking these are all consist of one element talk and the other four elements are s r ed and ing these are the examples of morphemes that show not only the plural forms of noun but also the form of the verb and the plural form of the noun or the form of the verb are called grammatical function or the smallest linguistic piece that is known as morpheme second important concepts in morphology is morph and morph refers specifically to the phonological realization of a morpheme or you can say the sound realization of a morpheme when a morpheme is represented sometime by one phonemic shape and sometime by another it is called shape alternation or each representation is a morph for example the english past tense morpheme spelled with 
it has various morphs first one is jumped in jumped we have tasson second is repelled and that is dasson and in third one is wedded we have ed after the voiceless ta of the root of the voiced da so we have ed with jumped repelled and wedded but the sound pattern or the sound realization is different these morphs are called allomorphs or variants because we have different sound realization of the same phoneme the appearance of one morph over another in this case is determined by voicing and the place of articulation of the final consonant of the verb stem or you can say we can realize the variation or the difference in the sound pattern of any word through the voicing and the place of articulation so morphs are the phonological realization of a morpheme let's have a look on difference between morpheme and morph morpheme is the minimal grammatical unit of a language whereas morph is its orthographical or phonological speech sound shape in grammatical unit we have plural form of noun and the past tense of verb as grammatical units are the form of the verbs used to make a sentence grammatically correct are called grammatical unit of a language and in other word they are called morpheme but the shape of the sound depending on the nature of the word as we have discussed in the last slide wedded repelled and cancelled these are all the different shapes of one sound so they are called allomorphs or morphs in linguistics or in morphology word formation is the core concept in morphology and words are formed by roots and base form of the word root means basic linguistic unit and root word is the primary form of a word that can be either free or bound morpheme root words have meaning or sometimes they don't have any meaning but affixes are added to root words for creating meaning for example agreement agree is the root word and ment is suffix so agree has meaning and that is free morpheme and ment is born morpheme because it doesn't have any meaning when it is not attached to the word agree base word in simplest form of the word base words does not take words as its prefixes but can stand as its own and has meaning usually base words are modified by adding affixes and affixes are three shapes prefixes infixes and suffixes for example cycle is base if by is attached it becomes bicycle it means two wheels or if ist is attached or added it become cyclist so we can produced new words according to the linguistic needs by adding affixes and affixes have three parts prefixes infixes and suffixes prefixes are added before the word as you can see in the example of bicycle and infixes are the word those are attached between the word in english language we do not have much or enough number of infixes so suffixes are the important 
concept because suffixes are added at the end of the word. You can see in the example of cyclist, ist that is suffix is attached with the base form of the word that is cycle to make it a complete word. Stem is a base unit to which another morphological piece is attached and the stem can be simple made up of only one part or complex itself made up of more than one piece. For example, in the word reconsideration, affixes like re that go before the stem are prefixes and those go after the the word is suffix so re and asian are both affixes which means that they are attached to the stem and that is considered root and base words are the stem words because both provide base to form other words by adding affixes before ending the lecture, I would like to summarize it. Morphology has etymology from the Greek language and morphs mean shape, form. So morphology is the study of forms or form. Its literal meaning is the study of forms. This term was originally used in biology and German poet, writer and philosopher John Wolfgang von Goethe was the first person who used it in the linguistics concept. So, the study of all those basic elements used in a language is called morphology. Morphology has few important concepts and first one is morpheme which is the smallest grammatical unit of a language and move are the phonological realization of a morpheme. Morpheme is the minimal grammatical unit of a language, but morph is its orthographical or phonological shape of the sound. Second concept is word formation in morphology and words are formed by roots and base form of the word. Roots and base form are the called stem form of the word and word formation is usually done by adding affixes those are called prefixes infixes and suffixes thank you for watching please like share and subscribe this channel language and linguistics for more informative videos on this topic